Hello everybody and welcome to your 16th tutorial on learning how to code in C++. So in this tutorial we're going to be learning about uh, chars and for those of you who don't know what a char is, it, it, it is a variable type. The reason why this deserves a tutorial over the other variable types is because it could be a bit more complicated uh, than other variable types and a bit more confusing. Uh, uh, and you'll, you'll see why and the way it uses um, we're going to be focusing on the way it uses arrays and stuff and it uses arrays differently than, than other variable types the strings and the char class use them differently uh, but yeah we will we will get right into that so with regular variable uh, types of um, like if we said uh, my my int whatever and we had an array uh, like this and we had uh, different values for it like uh, 0, 2, 3. Okay, we had different values for that. If we were to do C out my int, then we would, if we tried to run this program, look what, look what would happen. So we would, we would get, uh, we're going to error, we would get, uh, well not an error but we would get a, a code right here and that's that's the address that uh in memory that it is it's in, it's pointing to so we wouldn't really get the numbers within our array if we wanted to we'd have to say c out my ints etc the the element in the array to actually get the value so with chars though chars are different so before when i uh before when we were uh talking about variable names and such uh, oh and one thing I never mentioned in my variables tutorial one thing I, I should tell you right now is that C++ as you probably have noticed is case sensitive uh, so for example if I name my variable char right here with a capital C you wouldn't get an error right because uh, it is case sensitive so just in case you guys are wondering but yeah uh, so anyways my uh, I have char uh, my char or whatever. So uh, say I want to specify different values for it. So I would say uh, let's type out hello. So I'd have H E L L O. The reason why we have to do it like this is because chars only uh, take in uh, single values and and whatnot. So they don't take in uh, multiple like lines of text. But I will teach you how to do that after. And sorry, this has to be an array. Okay. So, but with the chars though, the last sequence has to be a backslash and zero. Of uh, the number zero. That is the escape sequence to let us know that that is the end of the array. Right. And uh, why do we need to do this? Because uh, look at this. So if I say C out and I say my char, we don't have to spe specify index in the uh, array. When we say that, when we say that, it displays. If I show you, it displays exactly what I put into the into the char, right? And if I wanted to, if I wanted to just display the H, I could. Right, I could just display this H. Now, if I got rid of this escape sequence right here, it doesn't know when it ends. So look what happens. Oh, sorry. Let me get rid of this. So let me show you what happens. We get a bunch of random characters over here, which we do not want or do not need. So we need to do the escape sequence. Well, that's what. Notice that because look at the single quotations. Now, for example, say I want to display hello. What I would do is I would put double quotations and I would just type in the uh, the word hello. By default, when you use double quotations uh, in something, it will put the escape sequence at the end of it automatically. Okay, so if we notice, we get the word hello right there. That we though that was the same way we wanted to, right? So, uh, but if we but the escape sequence takes up a space in the array as well. So, for example, uh, you see how there's five letters? There's actually six elements within our array because of our escape sequence. So, if I was to say uh, do something like five, oh wait, I can't do anything like that. But if I was to, sorry, do something like five, and I used to, and I was want to specify value for it, 
I wouldn't uh, if I put the escape sequence at the sixth element then we would get we would run into some problems right so remember that we have to have the uh, if we're gonna specify it it has to be for example if you want to them to the user to be able to input 20 letters or something like that then you'd have to make it 20 uh, make the array 21 spaces large so one extra space for the escape sequence okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to have some fun with this okay so what we're going to do is we're going to make a char and we're going to say uh, name okay and we're going to make it I guess 20 sequences so we're just gonna say uh, put input your name so so far we've only been able to input uh, values but not uh, numerical values but now we can input uh, letters so now we're gonna say uh, send name and we're gonna say uh, we're just gonna just put the name as the results I guess okay so it says input your name I'm gonna put Peter that's my name it's gonna display my name right under but uh, if you notice this what if I want to put um, my full name so I want to put Peter slash Henry it only displays Peter why because the sin when it does when it detects a space it doesn't detect the rest of it uh, because of our our characters so what we could do is you're gonna learn something cool we're gonna do sin dot get line so what a, a line what send dot get line does is that it, it gets a whole line of characters so what we could do is we put name and we only want to accept a maximum 20 se uh 20 sequences within that name so anything longer than 20 spaces include um 20 things including spaces uh uh will not be a part of it so if i was to run this one more time and i put peter space henry it displays Peter Henry because Peter Henry notice the space includes a character too so if we count this that's five that's five and that takes up 11 sequences so it's within the 20 sequence mark now if I was supposed to do something like super long like something like this it would only display the f the first 20 sequence of letters right so that's a good way if you want someone to input their name you can limit it so you don't run into errors in your program uh, but that is it for charge right now uh, I think you should know enough about it uh, so thanks for watching this tutorial hope you enjoyed it and bye